Hey friends, today is a special day <laughs> because this guy gets to have chicken for lunch. <laughs> so today, Gabriel is going to have sweet potato and chicken. It looks horrible, but he's going to get it. That'll be his first chicken. Uh, we are doing it. We hate to. I hate to do f first foods when Sarah's not here, but the pediatrician. He's uh, got his occupier back there. His keys keep him busy. The pediatrician wanted us to give this to him during the day, right after a nap. Um, that way, if he has some kind of reaction to it, I don't understand the after the nap part, but the during the day, in case he has some kind of reaction to it, we can get him to the pediatrician while the pediatrician's in, in the office. So, uh, so here we go. We're going to give this a try, see how it works. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Sweet potato and chicken dinner, according to the jar. Uh. Trying to figure that out? <laughs> Doesn't look like he hates it. Yeah. Kinda likes it, I guess. Alright, let's do this. Check it out. Empty jar. What'd you think, bud? Chicken. Is that right? Fry it for me next time? He says, fry it for me next time, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. There's a fried chicken. <laughs> Ooh. All right, we got to get you cleaned up. Then I think we're going for a walk. There's a historic marker, historical marker about a mile away that I've been wanting to look at since we moved here. So I think we're going to walk over there and take a look. This historical marker we're walking to, I believe, is a cemetery of some sort. I'm not entirely sure. I've just seen it, you know, driving by. And uh, every time I drive by, I think, what is that? I wanna stop and look and see what that is. So, Gabriel and I are headed that way. I wanna say that Sarah's been here, been there before, because she, uh, you know, on some previous visit out here as a child, they went and looked at it. But I've never been, so I'm going. Whatever it is, that's it. Let's go take a look. It is a cemetery. It's the blank field next to some really nice houses. Also believed to be buried here are five men and a boy who were victims of a lynching in 1869, several Confederate veterans of the Civil War, and two former slaves. Very interesting. What you think, buddy? Interesting? Mm. So, Dad, quit taking me to cemeteries. Uh. All right, let's head back. Well, that was really interesting. According to that sign, at one point there were an estimated 200 graves out there, and uh, all but two of them had been lost to vandalism or development. So that means that some of those houses that are built right next to it could possibly be built on graves of dead soldiers and settlers and stuff. That's pretty cool. But I saw a poltergeist. I know how that movie ends. <laughs> I think technically those were Indian graves, but if I can help it, I don't think I want a house built on anybody's grave. And we're back home. So that was pleasant, the weather was very nice, and it was educational. 
So I'm glad I pushed myself to do that. Yeah, woohoo! He had a good time. Didn't you, buddy? <laughs> I'm glad that uh, I've started doing that. I think I'm going to keep looking for interesting things around the house to uh, explore. Go on little adventures during the day. Break things up. Make things a little different from the usual routine we have. And sorry if I was a little winded at the end of that, uh, that little adventure, <laughs> but that's actually at the kind of at the bottom of a hill. Uh, a couple of hills actually so coming back coming back it was uphill like twice and the sidewalks are kind of slanted so with the stroller I don't know I guess I'm trying to make excuses for being out of shape but that was a, a little bit of a workout he didn't have to do anything he just sat there all right all right you worked out too I just got Gabriel down for a nap actually I did oh yeah I did just but it took me like 30 minutes I've discovered a new calf workout um, with the help of Gabriel. It involves holding a 21 pound baby to your chest and bouncing up and down on your calves for 10 minutes until he falls asleep. And then you set that baby down, walk away, and 30 seconds later come back, pick him up, and do it all over again. Repeat until baby stays down. So I've got at least a 30 minute break until he wakes up. Hour and 15 minutes if I'm lucky. 30 minutes is usually the minimum. Um, I have to go reinforce and, and repair some of the Halloween decorations outside, but I'm kind of exhausted. <laughs> I want to take a break. Anyway, I really hope that Gabriel, you know, fights for his life's dreams and ambitions the way he fights his naps. If that's the case, he will literally go to the moon, Mars, the White House, you know, the director's chair, I don't know, the top of whatever field he enters into, kicking and screaming the entire way. <laughs> so, anyway, he's down. I've got to do some little couple of chores, but I really don't think I'm going to get much accomplished while he naps. Thirty-seven minutes. Well, Gabriel didn't last very long with his nap, but I think it was all he needed because he's in a little bit better mood. <laughs> As you can tell by that frown. <laughs> anyway, Mom's going to be home here pretty soon. So we're going to do some Halloween decoration reinforcement repair while we wait for her to get back. And then we'll see what the rest of the day holds. <gasps> he likes being outside. Mommy's, mommy's home. Hey, it's a man. Hi. Hi, Gabriel. You look handsome in your blue shirt. Are you and Daddy twinsies? Are you and Daddy twinsies? That wasn't intentional. <laughs> My shirt's gray. You still got a three button Henley. Hi. You want my Yeti? Nope. <laughs> Mommy's home. I'm steaming some apples for Gabriel's dinner. Maybe steam some brownies. I'm kidding. I'm not steaming brownies. What are y'all doing? Playing. Where are you going? Gabriel's trying to make a break for the stereo. <laughs> Say yay! Yay! Where are you going? Where are you going? This guy had some beets <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> Here, take the empty one. I need the full one. 
Now it's time for his baby massage and then bedtime. <coughs> this changing table is a little playpen. <coughs> Hey, little monster. <laughs> Ooh. Are you sweet baby? Your toes are all dry. Walking in your walker. You rubbing your eyes something fierce about 30 seconds before daddy started filming. He said, turn it on for the camera. It comes by <laughs> it naturally. It's behind you. <laughs> the call's coming from inside the house. <laughs> Thank you for to watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel to <laughs> see more. Click the bell so you get the notifications. Tell us something in the comments. Yep, leave us a comment. Tell us if you enjoyed the video. And do that. All right, ooh, that was a beat burp. Oh, he I burped got, on. I got beat burped on. <laughs> you stinky boy, say excuse me. <laughs> All right. There he goes. You Thanks for watching. Have the petroleum jelly. Put it down. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Bye.